folks. Thanks for joining us on the show today. Today is a special day. We have the Airtime Cooling and Heating contest winners on with us for the head-to-head -head competition at Bartlett Lake with Matt Schurer and I. You'll want to join us today. It's going to be a lot of fun. And without further ado, let's meet our contestants. I'm Brian Ulmer, fishing for Airtime Cooling and Heating. I'm team number one. I'm Patty Bradley, I'm fishing for airtime cooling and heating, and I'm team number two. Voodoo Athletic and Custom Apparel is providing the jerseys for the winners today. All right, folks, here we go with a coin toss for the airtime cooling and heating head-to-head -head challenge with Brian Ulmer, Patty Bradley, and I'll tell you what, we're gonna have a lot of fun today, but now we gotta find out who's gonna fish with who. So, Brian Boyer from Airtime Cooling and Heating is gonna flip the coin. This is his contest yeah. today. Yep. So, uh, let's, see what, <laughs> we'll, let's see what we have. We'll let Patty uh, call, call it. it. She's gonna call it? Okay. I'll call it. All right, ready? Heads. Stales. Oh, Brian, you get to call your man. Sorry, Johnny. All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go fishing. Let's do All it. All right, hey, we get to go fishing. Here's the cool luck, thing about it. Good luck there, Matt. Good these, luck, Matt. These two right here, these two right Good here. Good luck, Brian. Fished a tournament this last week. I gotta say, I got the winner of the tournament fishing with me today. So good luck, Matt. Thanks, See buddy. you later, buddy. <laughs> Following you. Going to no water mooching. <laughs> Going to Patty's spot. Huh? Going to Patty's water. No, you're not, are you? <laughs> I'll see you there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fish. Oh, he doesn't feel that big. Hey, he might be decent. It'll start it. Ah, well, it's a keeper. <laughs> you ready? Here he comes. Oh, man. Huh. I'll tell you what, it's a start. Not a big one, kind of a typical Bartlett Lake bass. I'm here with Brian Ulmer. He's from Lake Havasu, and I kind of told him about Bartlett Lake. A lot of small fish, but happy to get them, man. We had a pretty good temperature drop, a little front coming through, and this is a good start. Happy to fish with you. Appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, and you run the JML Correct. tournaments in, in, at Havasu, Havasu yep. and uh, he's a fisherman, so I'm happy to have him in the boat. He picked me because he said that he heard I was a pretty good drop shotter. So we're gonna throw some drop shots later in the day here, but right now, I'm just throwing a big spinner bait. We're fishing the the steep stuff. We got some boulders and a real steep bank. And this is a real heavy spinnerbait. This is actually an ounce and three-eight spinnerbait, willow leaf blades, and I'm slow rolling it, ticking the rocks, making that noise, really just barely making the blades turn and having that weight tick on the bottom. And we got a little Bartlett Lake Keeper. Happy to have it to start Absolutely. with. We've only been, that was like my third cast, so we're happy to have it. I'm gonna put them in the live well and I'll let you get the big ones. We'll try. Three pounds, six ounces. I mean, point I'll eight, point eight two. I mean, oh, close <laughs> enough. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a start. Got him. Dropped right on that rock pile. Oh, it's a dink. It's a little. But it's a keeper. Can't go wrong. <laughs> we don't have a size limit, right? Keep saying that every time. No size limit. <laughs> Gail's acting up so cold. All right, it's a solid half a pound. All right. All right, and that's for airtime cooling and heating, fish number two. I think we have some work to do. <laughs> I think I'm gonna throw a how about my rattle trap. There you go. I can cast that pretty well. Can you? Yeah. 
Yeah, all along these rocks here, and then especially around the corner right there is the sweet spot. All right. So all around these rocks, oh. right? You got one? I do. Do you? You got one? I Daddy's do. has got one. Let me get the net. <laughs> oh, it's just a little guy. It doesn't matter. A fish is a fish right now. Get that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Look at you. All right. Well, that didn't take long. What was no. our third cast? <laughs> She's already whacking them. Look at that. It's not a big fish, but you know what? We got to start somewhere. Yeah. And in the head-to-head -head competition, we have no size limit. That's probably about an 11-inch fish. That's to start our day. So, Let's... I mean, airtime cooling and heating bass right there. Let's get this <laughs> thing loaded up. 0.74, red. Hang in there, little buddy. I'm throwing a one ounce persuader spinnerbait just trying to get it down there where maybe I can get a little bit bigger bite or something. According to some of the guys, everything's gotten slow, but you guys just won a tournament. You and Marty, we did. Lawrence, just won a tournament here yeah. last week. We got Beat lucky. Matt. <laughs> now we're asking you to do it again. I'm gonna try. There's a fish. That one feels a little better. That one's pulling back. Maybe. Felt real good at first. Yeah, oh, that'll yeah. help us. That'll help us. Be in a hurry. That's fish number three. If we can get him in. All right. Yeah, that's a good that's one. That's a little better fish for Bartlett Lake right there. Ah, oh, that's what we needed. All right. So that's a lot better fish. Get on a drop shot real slow. What I'm doing in this area, even though it just looks like sand on the bank, as you can see in that sand on the bank, there's, there's rock piles, little, little areas that are sporadic rock piles. In those areas, those transition areas where it goes from rock to sand, you know, I'm dragging along and I'm just feeling the sand. It's just mushy. And all of a sudden I click, click, click that rock. And that's right where this fish was at. And I'll tell you, that cold front that came through, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting bit, it's just, I pick up and it just feels heavy. They're just not eating it real well, but that's a good Bartlett fish right there. I'll take that one. That's for airtime cooling and heating right there. There we go. All right, call it 180, almost a two pound fish. I'll take it. All right, so we pulled up, pulled up in this area, slowed down a little bit. I'm throwing a drop shot right now. Typical drop shot setup. Got my signature series, Johnny Johnson, Taipan Elite Series drop shot rod. It's an awesome rod, real sensitive. 15-pound uh, braid to a six-pound fluorocarbon leader. Size one rebarb hook. And, uh, you know, your favorite bait. I use a lot of uh, Arizona Custom Baits, Robo Worms. Um, all work real well. The natural colors, I like the oxblood, and a quarter ounce drop shot weight. And you're throwing? I'm throwing a 3 8 football head jig with a uh, five-inch Yamamoto double tail hula grub on a quantum smoke with 15 pound, 15 pound fluorocarbon. Nice, let's see if we can get him. It's on the bite too. All right, got him? Little guy, yeah. All right. I don't well, know if that's gonna get rid of help. our other one. No one help us? I don't think so. Golly guys, our fish are so big in the live well that that's not even gonna help this us. This giant won't, won't pull out. But hey, he's caught it on a 3 8 ounce Yamamoto yeah. football head jig. Just dragging along the rocks? Yep, just dragging along the bottom. Real slow and real slow, feel a couple ticks and you start feeling it load up and then come up with one of these guys. There you go. Let's hope the next one's bigger. Yeah. Good job. Oh, there's one. Hey, oh, I got one. Get the net. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's just a little one. I got him. Oh! oh. <laughs> Get in here, you little dude. Good job, All Johnny. All right, so there's another one. A little drop shot bass. Speaking of a little drop shot bass, a little airtime cooling and heating bass. <laughs> Good job, Johnny. Not a big one, but a fun one. Bass. Well, we needed to get three in the boat anyways. I heard there was a lot of little ones. This is kind of what we were catching a while back, trying to get some things done out here. A bunch of these little guys in this lake, isn't there? 
There's a lot 72 of 72 is a little smaller than yours. Blue. A Come banana on. peel, really, Matt? Right off the bat in the morning, you have to give us a banana peel? You threw a banana peel in our boat. You must have been scared. For those of you that don't know, a banana peel in the boat is like bad luck to most fishermen. And as soon as I get up on the trolling motor, what do I find? Banana peel. And I can only guarantee you who put that in our boat. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Feel decent? Yeah, good one. That'll help us. All right. Good job. There we go. Nice job. A little airtime cooling and heating fish right there. And golly, look how he ate that jig. Yeah, he, he that jig it. is, he's got a beard. See him? He's got little whiskers. He ate that jig. That's cool. And again, green pumpkin. Good and staple I'll, color. Yeah, I'll tell you what, if you guys ever wonder what color jig to throw, you can never go wrong with green pumpkin. It works, works everywhere in the country. That was a half a pound upgrade right there. Hoo hoo hee hee. -in. You know what that means? It means we're in trouble. It means we gotta get to work. Yeah, I think this is a lucky spot right around this corner here. That's what I'm saying. Let's get to that spot before somebody pulls in there. I'm going to tell you, I can't tell you how many times somebody's done that to me. And I want to get there before somebody does get there. We'll sit there and we will cast and cast and cast. We'll catch a bunch of two-pounders. Catch a three. Oh, oh did you get him? Yeah, that, oh. that's going to be a little bit better fish right there, Patty. Do you need the net? <laughs> <laughs> Little persuader spinner me fish. That's a little bit bigger fish. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, Johnny. All right. Good Let's job. Let's get her done. All right. Let's weigh this boot. All right. All right. Good one. That's what we're looking for. A little bit bigger fish. Cut him on a drop shot? No, on that spinner bait. Oh. Spinner bait bass. Little spinner bait bass. Yeah, see now, now we're getting up there, almost a buck and a half right there. Good buck job. Buck 40, yellow, all right. Hey. That's get her a... done, son. Yeah, let's get her done. That's a big fish for this lake. It is. Oh, yeah. That's three bass, folks. Three bass. <laughs> airtime cooling and heating fish. Speaking Good of job, airtime Johnny. cooling and heating, wouldn't it be a great time for us to have a heater in the boat? <laughs> It works on the commercial. <laughs> Where's that heater? <laughs> I need it. There's a fish. That yeah, feels small. Feels small. Stay down, stay down. We got to this one. <laughs> Put the net away. <laughs> Put the net we don't want to lose hey, that one. I appreciate, I appreciate the net, but I, I got it. <laughs> Bartlett Lake, hey, they're fun to catch, though. Drop shot fish. You got fish? <laughs> you got one? I think so. You need a net? Um, well, I'm gonna get the net. All right. Oh, that's yeah. good fish. Yeah, we need that's the net. That's good fish. That might help us. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a double hookup. We were about half a second shy, a couple seconds shy. Set my rod down to catch your little fish and get this one. Well, that's a jig fish, and I can catch and drop shot fish, so. Yeah. Let me uh, <laughs> hop in the jig along the bottom and <laughs> set it down for a second and pick it up and there it is. You know what? I'll tell you. A lot of times, you know, you go go get a get a go get a drink, get a bite of a sandwich or something, and and you pick up and they're on yep, there. Yep. It's like let that tell you to slow things down. Absolutely. Um, I'll tell you that's happened a lot of times, and that's kind of a clue to to slow things down. Almost a tenth of an upgrade. There's a fish. That feels better. That feels better right there. That one's pulling. That might That's help. That might help. Hmm. Boy, he felt bigger when he first bit, but I think that'll still help us. Yeah, we got one in there that's yeah. about a pound, so that's bigger than that one. Another drop shot fish for airtime cooling and heating. That's a that's a chunk though. It's a healthy little yeah, fish. Yeah, thinks it's a thinks it's a good one. There yeah, you go. Good job. Little upgrade there. Hey, one at a time. All right. Come on, be bigger than that. One thirty-five. 
So we're getting rid of a one pounder. We're going in the right direction. It's like we're sitting at 4.17. Oh, got me. <laughs> you got even with me. <laughs> I was going to say, you can look at the graph. Again, we're hung up, and <clears throat> where we're catching our fish, we're sitting in 25 foot of water, and right where his jig at is was right around 10, 11 foot. So we have that real good, real good drop off that comes up and real rocky. So that's what we're fishing. We're fishing. Uh, Real slow, those fish get on these rock piles and these areas, you know, where there's any kind of structure, deep access nearby, yep. right? And, and you're, you know, Brian's from Havasu, so this is totally different than oh, what absolutely. you're used to fishing, right? Absolutely. I mean, he's fishing the tules and, and grass. I'm and, fishing grass, I'm up shallow, cranking rocks here and there, but this is all rock. <laughs> Way different. Yeah, and he's used a lot to, of fun. And you're used to catching four pounders. Yeah. Havasu's, <laughs> Havasu's got some big fish in it. The last tournament at Havasu, it, what did Roy Hawk have? 20, or Sean Bailey had 21 yeah. pounds. And then uh, the last tournament here, 10 pounds one. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, oh. yeah! <laughs> See what I'm saying? They're right there. He ain't a color, though. Nice! I don't think he's a color. You think he's a color? I don't think he's a color. I don't color. think so. I don't think that one will call, but it's definitely a drop shot bass. That's not drop no pound bass. and a quarter fish, so we really can't call with him. But We need a bigger bite, so don't feel like we have to drop shot the rest of the day, because realistically, do we really want those little fish? We We're not into catching how, we don't need to catch 50 fish. Well, we've got our limit. Let's catch a bigger fish. Let's, let's throw some baits that'll catch us a bigger fish. <laughs> yeah, tell, tell them we got about three two-pounders. Oh, there's one there. Good job. There's one there. By golly, we got that one. I don't know if he's a color. I don't think he is. Oh, well. They all feel big and nice. Oh, oh. he is a color. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Persuader beat bass. Right there. Patty, yeah. we are going to call. And there you have it. Good job. Third time cooling and heating bass. <laughs> Folks, what I'm throwing here, 17 pound test line with a white uh, one ounce persuader spinner bait. And I've got that little chartreuse grub on there. And I paralleled the bank on that one. Well, there's part one for the airtime cooling and heating head-to-head -head contest. I'll tell you what, we got a lot more action coming to you next week here on Fishing with Johnny Johnson. Don't miss it. There's a lot more fish catches coming your way. <laughs> now, see, that's what I'm talking about, folks. <laughs>